video on how to install a temporary power pole. We'll start at the top with our weather head. We have an inch and a half weather head with our number three wire coming out. Number three is rated for 100 amps. So uh, we have that in here. This is a breaker, the breaker panel, which we, we, we actually put it on a 60 amp breaker, but that will cover enough of what we need. Uh, this is your meter base. It's for SC, E, and G. One of the main things that you want to do is when you're putting a a power a uh, pole up for your customer, you need to make sure what power company that they are with because there are different meter bases. So check with that first. So you got your SNG meter base. Then you have your number three wire that goes from here, from the bottom part of your meter down to your breaker panel. Um, I already closed it up, but the wires come into the breakers. You got your two 20 amp circuits. The thing about it, you need to have two circuits out here um, to give power to the construction companies that's going, that's going to be coming to build and each one of these has to be GFCI protected and it also have to have one of these fancy in use weatherproof covers on it so if you plug up an extension cord you can close this right here up um, and your cords can still come out from the bottom and it's not getting wet then of course everything that you have to do needs to be grounded so here's our ground wire and if you look right here that's our ground rod and all you need is a four by four post, um, your wire, your two outlets, the GFCIs, um, and then you need it to be braced. So we got some two by fours. You notice this right here is very sturdy. It's not really going nowhere. Uh, so it can last for the time being. Simple. That's the simple way of doing it. Um, and now we just go pull our permit and call the inspection. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.